Coping with the murder of your child is, is hard to do. My name is Marlene Jerome. I am Wendy's mom. Wendy was a fantastic kid. Very well-mannered, loving, fun to be with. She, uh, she loved kids. She babysat a lot. We always goofed around. We used to play music and dance around and sing. Whenever we did housework, that's how we did it. <laughs> she was just a phenomenal kid. You know, she had her head together. She knew what she wanted out of life and she was going for it. The best memory I have of Wendy was after dinner, she was sitting in a chair in our living room. Just sitting there. We talked a little bit. But that's that's the last time I saw her I was sitting in that chair. Wendy was brutally beaten and raped and because of that beating she was killed. Wendy was 14 when she was killed. She had just turned 14. Her birthday was the 1st of November, and she was killed on the 22nd, which was Thanksgiving of that year, 1984. When I found out about what happened to Wendy, I don't know, all I can say is that it's the most numbing feeling I ever had in my whole life. I had a gut feeling that something was wrong because she wasn't home when she was supposed to and she was always on time. But hearing that officer say those words, there's been a terrible accident and your daughter is dead. It's the most devastating words anyone could ever say to me. Knowing they haven't caught the person that's responsible for her death haunts me. Her father passed away not knowing, and I know he really wanted to know who and what happened. Me, because I'm not getting any younger, I feel the same way. You know, I don't want to die before I know. And Sometimes I think about, has he done this to someone else? Why, why can't we find out who this is? But yeah, it haunts me. It haunts me. Wendy would be 42 this coming November. It's really, really hard to come up here, mainly because we couldn't have the raised stone that we wanted. And it's hard to look at a stone in the ground and grass overgrowing and dirt in it. I come up here, when I do come up here, I scrub it with soap and water, clean it all off, sit here, listen to my radio, lay down, maybe take a rest with her. I'm up here for a long time when you do come up. In a minute, and any day that doesn't go by that I don't think about it. I wish that she was still here with us. I miss her. I miss her a lot. She's my first baby.